I wanted to show you today about dubnium. And dubnium is a metal that we don't really know anything about because it's extremely toxic, extremely radioactive, and extremely unstable. They all technically contribute to each other because dubnium is radioactive like hell because its half-life is 32 hours. Compare that to uranium's half-life of four and a half billion years. And the more radioactive something is, the faster its atoms decay, because that's literally the definition of radioactivity. It's, the, it's basically the decay rate of atoms. And this is why any piece of dubnium the size of this tantalum coin I'm holding right here would disintegrate and would send dangerous radioactive substances across anybody nearby potentially giving them a lethal dose of radiation within milliseconds of exposure. And the reason why I have this is because tantalum is the metal that's most chemically similar to dubnium because its position on the periodic table and similar electrons, like, like the similar balance electrons and stuff, would basically um, give dubnium similar properties to it. But their physical properties would be slightly different because dubnium would, of course, be slightly more dense than tantalum at around 24 grams per cubic centimeter. Because here's niobium, the metal right above tantalum. It's got a density of about 8 grams per cubic centimeter. Tantalum, it measures 16 grams per cubic centimeter. So if you do the math there, you can notice a pattern and you would expect dubnium to have a density of 24 grams per cubic centimeter. It's made from atoms that are accelerated at very high speeds, and that fuses them together into one solid atom. Well, not really solid, but you know what I'm getting at. Because um, this is called nuclear fusion, and it's how we created super heavy elements that do not occur naturally at all. Dubnium is too unstable to occur naturally. And some properties that we can predict from it are the fact that it's very hard, very dense too, even denser than the densest metal, osmium. And it would also be malleable and ductile. 